So now let's see how we can work around with shapes. So first of all, to work around with shapes, you need to add in shapes. And to access out the shapes, you can go on the top right here. And here you can see shapes is an option. So by default, there's a rectangle here, as you can see. And if I were to click on the rectangle, I can click and drag around to make a shape right here. If I want to make another rectangle, I can go around right here, click and drag this out. So over here, if I want to work around with more shapes, you can click on the triangular icon right here to access out more shapes. So you can bring in a line, click and drag this out right here. You can bring in an arrow right over here and so forth, as you can see. You can also go around and use the shortcut key right here. So if I were to press R on my keyboard, I can simply click and drag around a rectangle right here. Similarly, I got ellipse right here. But over here, if I want perfect within height, I can hold shift on my keyboard and you can see that now the within height of the shape becomes equal. You can go around, bring in a star over here as well. And another shape that you have is a polygon, as you can see, and you can drag, uh, uh, drag this out right here. So over here on the shapes, you can also place an image if you want to. So now, whatever shape you have, you can click on this. And if I were to click and drag around the corner uh, pins right here, you can see that I can resize this. And if I were to go a bit beyond the corner pin, you get this rotation icon. So you can click and drag this around right here, as you can see. And you can rotate out the shape that you have selected. You can click and drag this out right here. So that is what you have. So another thing that you can do is uh, once you click on the shape on the right hand side, you get the shape properties, as you can see, where you can go around, set the exact within height. So it is uh, right now set to 156 to, um, to um, by 128 pixel of within height. So you can do it 100 by 100. And what happens is that the within height is set. Similarly, you can go around, set the within height right here, 200 to 200 right here. And the shape is set uh, just like that, as you can see. If you want to change the color of the shape, you can click here and over here you can see fill color is an option. You can click here and then choose the color that you want. So over here, if you were to click on a shape, you can click on the color on the right hand side, select out the hue, select out the color as you can see right here. You can also use the color picker right here to select out an existing color in the uh, canvas right here. And once you click on it, that color is selected. You can also go around and add in hex values if you know how to. So if I were to go around right here, if I were to double click this, you can go around, type in the hex value as well. So let me type in CC0000 right here, press enter, and the color is applied as you can see right here. So you can go around right here onto the color value. And similarly, there's RGB value that you can enter. There's CSS values right here that you can enter, Q, uh, saturation and luminance value, or uh, other values as per how you wish. But however, you can go around, choose from the palette over here as well. So that is how you can add in the color. And another thing that you can also do is add in strokes to shapes. So to add in strokes, you can see that stroke is an option right here. You can click on the plus button. And what happens is that a stroke is added. So over here, you can choose the uh, pixel value. So right now it's set to one, you can type in 10 and you can see that the stroke value is 10. Now you can go around right here and choose the color of the stroke as well, just like this. And that is applied right here. As you can see, once you do that, you can go around and here you can see that there are different values that you can work with over here as well. So if I were to go around and right now you can see that the stroke is inside, you can go around, set it outside over here, or you can set it to center as how you like it. And that is how you can add in shapes, add in strokes, and then add in colors to uh, your shapes inside of uh, Figma, uh, inside of Design View. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.